What is in Jan? Some such reaction. This is are camels OP? Yes, yes, they are. They definitely are. This was not a zoo, obviously, as the title says. Ah, uh, yeah, camels hold water and everything. They are like untouchable when it comes to desert. Right? Even I know them. Like, where I live, there is like a far desert. Right? Ah, uh, not where I live, but like closest desert I can think of is like far desert. Right? So yeah, I've been there. Right? I've seen camel work. Right? So camels are OP. Let's be honest. They're long legs and everything. I'm sure there's like more scientific reason why they are OP. uh but uh yeah the camels are going to be op tears is going to tell us like what details are there about their opness so this video is going to be really fun uh, not that other videos are not fun but for me this is going to be really interesting because camels are one of those animals you hear about all the time even in video games you see them right it's like one thing you really not need to know about like in details why camels are really op unless i'm wrong and it realize the camels are not op is like close to f tier which means i'm stupid i guess i don't know So let's always one. Remember, if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe. So that way, I know which type of videos to react to more. I like zoology style of videos, right? I've been watching Tier Zoo, Casual Geographic, uh, The Frank One. Yeah, I think those are the three channels I've been watching a lot. So if you haven't seen those reactions, check out the link in the description. And yeah, let's do it. Here we go. Oh. 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 Camels are one of the most unorthodox builds in the game. In the right conditions, their combination of unique abilities and special set of elements Oh, there's a like volume problem there. Okay. Full resistances makes for a shockingly effective strategy. But overall, where do camels rank? Rank on the tier list. Is their weird shape and odd skill set actually overpowered or is their current player base carried by their human allies? Today we'll discuss the history, stats and abilities of the camel and ultimately decide We'll begin with the origin of the camel. Camels first began rising in the meta at a time when a lot of mammalian herbivore builds were really taking off. Some of these herbivores spiked into an ability called rumination to gain bonus XP from the newly buffed grass spawn rates. Some herbivores spiked into more powerful PVP abilities like keratinized horns and armor in order to remain more well defended when out in the open. The camel by contrast took neither of these paths. Because they could not digest grass, they instead need to spec into abilities which would allow them to survive the frequent long treks between an ever decreasing supply of nutritious tree leaves. So what are the camel's most yeah, basically the same <laughs> meta models use basically long legs and all that shit there you go. Important abilities. The most obvious one is their hump. The hump serves multiple purposes. Primarily, it's used as a site for fat storage. functioning as an energy reserve which allows camels to survive incredibly long journeys without access to food with a maxed out fat reserve camel players can ignore hunger damage for several months as they search for new spots to forage but in addition to providing starvation resistance allocating all the camel's body fat to one spot gives them excellent heat resistance by allowing for extremely efficient heat exchange everywhere else on the surface of the camel's body now of course this ability does come at a cost The hump is an awkward and cumbersome load to bear, weighing the camel down and making its movement a lot more wobbly and top-heavy while running. Definitely not an ability you could just throw onto any other herbivore build and see benefit from. You need to have other abilities to help. Yeah, I think the fat being on top of like that basically means that they can be in desert well and with you know like having system which they can management heat. Remember in cold situation would be the opposite, right? Like having fat all around basically would cushion you. So it would it just makes sense, but it's not supposed like, you know, fat. It's not just about fat like we all like humans are really obese. It's how you, how they metabolize fat, right? How they use it. because if you like don't give food to really fat person for a long enough time right uh, they, they are going to basically die out right because they're not going to get a lot of proteins and things that hearts going to give up and a lot of things while camels can really go on long days without like energy and they can just like take it from there so its metabolism is different mitigate the weaknesses the hump incurs so what other abilities does the camel have the second main ability is the camel's feet pads rather than walking on hooved toes like most other herbivores Camels spec into large padded feet. Now, normally when a player spends their evolution points unlocking padded feet, they're doing so in order to mask the sound of their steps and buff their stealth stat. While it does technically offer a small stealth bonus, something as tall as a camel is not going to be very successful at hiding. 
I think it's because of the sand, isn't it? Right? It can have like bigger footprints, so it can have like better grip there. Instead, similar to the hump, this ability protects camels from the stress and chip damage most players would accrue when walking for such long distances. It also spreads out their weight, preventing them from sinking into whatever surface they're standing on. This is especially important when traversing sandy or snowy environments, as it negates the movement penalties from this sort of terrain. Camels have a few other minor abilities as well. Their sickle-shaped blood cells make them more resistant to dehydration, and their tough, leathery mouth negates puncture damage, allowing the camel to be one of the few builds able to eat cacti without being hurt by their spines. A lot of players are under the impression that camels possess a powerful spitting ranged attack, similar to the cobra or archerfish. Unfortunately, no, there's not really anything particularly threatening about the camel's spit, nor do they actually employ this skill in combat. They may vomit when threatened, but this is usually just a result of stress, not a defensive ability. That's not to say the camel's mouth isn't dangerous, though. In addition to their tough, leathery palate, one of the things that sets camels apart from other herbivores is that their teeth can actually deal serious damage. And with a neck as long, powerful, and flexible as the camel's, there's not many angles you could attack a Seriously, man, people are like really comfortable around camels, thinking, oh, camel's not gonna hurt you. That mouth can hurt you, right? And especially if it, like, if your mouth is in a way they can even like chew on like all this thorn and shit without getting punctured and things. Not that that's any indication of strength, but I don't know. You see a camel, that's big, big animal. You really think their mouth is not gonna be strong enough to hurt you? Of course it is. That kick can probably hurt you, right? So yeah, and the spit thing, like, I, I thought that, that was well known, right? Like, I guess, you know, like camel spitting like that. But obviously there's nothing dangerous about it, but like, ugh, that's just gross. But I've seen videos of like camel just spitting on people like, oh, and they're running away. Yeah, I'm not going close to camel because of that. The camel from without risking a nasty bite counterattack. Camels can also attack with their kicks, although their Ooh. padded feet won't deal as much damage as, say, the sharp hooves of a zebra or giraffe. Anyway, those are the main abilities of the camel build. Next, let's look at the camel stats. And quick note, I should mention that there are two variations of camel, the dromedary and bactrian. Their most apparent difference is that the dromedary has one hump while the bactrian has two. But honestly, the more important difference is in their base stats. Bactrians are larger, more powerful, and better adapted to the cold. The dromedary is smaller, but slightly more agile, and better suited for extreme heat. Camels have slightly above average intelligence, necessary for them to be able to re So Bactrian is just better, is that it? Well, they got the cheetah treatment. Oh, you're lighter, you can be faster, and I guess you can manage heat better, there you go. Remember the long routes that they travel on. As mentioned earlier, camels do have a more damaging bite than most herbivores. But compared to the damage large herbivores can dish out using their tusks or horns, they still fall short. Their defenses are quite strong, especially when it comes to elemental resistances. But on top of those, the camel's height makes it very difficult for predators to land an attack on them. <laughs> Thanks to their special terrain movement moment. I like how just like, whoa, 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 what you trying to do? What you trying to do? Uh, try again. Get out of here, you're not at my level. You're not at my level. <laughs> Basically like some featherweight trying to like outbox a heavier or something. You're not in my level, get out of here. Most of the time they don't even need to worry about predators, as no sane player would seriously try to follow them into an inhospitable desert. But even on normal solid ground, the camel's movement speed is pretty decent, albeit kind of awkward. Obviously even with their padded feet slightly dampening the sound of their steps, their stealth is still abysmal given that camels are the third tallest land animal after the giraffe and elephant. And lastly, their perception is pretty normal for a mammal, except for the camel's partial immunity to the blindness condition, on account of their long eyelashes, which block incoming sand and dust. This is all well and good, but the question remains, just how viable is this setup? Yeah, if you've ever been close to a sandy place, you would know sand fucking goes everywhere. You go near a sand, you better come home, throw away all your clothes to like wash and just like, and just take a full on shower for long enough time. Because the sand is everywhere. Even in your ear somehow. You know you've been careful, made sure that no sand was inside you. Somehow there's sand inside an ear. I don't know, some sand, mini sandstorm came, you didn't even realize or some shit. Up, really? Is the camel just another build completely carried by humanity? So, the camel is actually one of the more recent additions to the human's party, with domestication being unlocked during the mid to late Bronze Age, well after dogs, cats, and horses had already formed alliances with humanity. And it was with the last one, horses, that camels were competing with for the spot on the team, as both horses and camels are useful to function as a mount. Horses are the faster mount, and in a lot of scenarios, that's truly all that matters. In Bronze Age human versus human PvP, being able to outmaneuver and flank their enemies was one of the most important factors in securing victory. But for just about everything else, camels were far more reliable. 
camels have a higher equipment load, meaning they can carry much more cargo. They have higher vitality and defense, and thus can carry human players a much further distance in much worse conditions. And of course, the fact that they are not impeded by difficult terrain is a huge perk for choosing the camel. It's for this reason that as humanity began transitioning away from a nomadic raiding playstyle and towards Bronze Age palace-based economies, having a mount that could carry goods across the vast desert between empires was of vital importance. Yeah, this was really important. Think of like a truck, so like a, I don't know, freight boats or some shit like that. Not a del, but still, you know, in deserts, like what, what else are you gonna do, right? I remember playing Assassin's Creed Origins. Some of you already know I'm, I was gonna go there. Uh, yeah, in Origins, you have an option of like riding camel or like a horse. You can have both in your inventory. So basically, you keep them in your pocket or some shit. So in that, like basically, I assume like, okay, camels can carry more and probably have a long lasting effect like, uh, you know, like endurance. But horse is gonna be faster. Then I realized the stupid Ubisoft, both are equal. That there's, it's just skin in the end. Camels are equally fast as horse and like do equal shit. There is no difference. So whether you have a horse in the desert or a camel, they're both the same. Like, come on, man. After having all that kind of like gorgeous looking uh, Egypt, you're going to do that? Come on. Camels were the only viable option for humans to cross the large deserts, like the Outback, Sahara, and Mojave, until humanity unlocked trains on the tech tree. So for a substantial length of time, camels were an integral part of the economy across most of the So a camel looks at the train, they took my job, that's what they say. World. And although railroads have made them obsolete in some servers, when it what? comes to crossing the desert, they are still genuinely one of the best options. Similar to horses and cattle, the vast majority of camel players are purely opting for the human-focused team combo playstyle. There are only around a thousand players who are part of the truly wild faction that never joined up with humans. Does this mean without humans, camels would be low-tier trash? I can see why you might jump to that conclusion. Despite their immense physical strength, I read domestic cattle as B-tier, in part because without humanity, it's unclear if they could even survive in the wilderness. Honestly, B-tier might have even been too generous. But there's no question, when left to fend for themselves in the wilderness, camels not only survive, they thrive. When humanity unlocked the motorized transport tech- Yeah, knowing where camels are thriving, where even hu when humans have problems, that's where like, uh, camels are thriving desert and things, knowing that like buffs they have, right? Heat management, fat storage, endurance, and then leathery mouth thing so they can get pierced. Come on, man, of course they're gonna survive. Many human players kicked out the camel players from their party. This happened in America, in the Middle East, and most significantly in Australia. Now, an invasive mammal succeeding in Australia is really not that big a surprise, but thriving in the outback specifically is undoubtedly impressive. Here, they must contend with one of the other most successful Australian invaders, the dingo. And let's be real, it's not even close to being an even matchup. Being historically from Asia, camels had to contend with everything from lions and leopards to wolves and even tigers. So despite their awkward, top-heavy appearance and lack of powerful damage-dealing abilities, their incredible survival skill earns them the rank of A-tier. Now, this video focused specifically on the Bactrian and Dromedary Camel, the two builds most players would associate with the word camel. But the Camel faction does technically contain two other builds, the Llama and Alpaca. These belong to the player base of prehistoric camels. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, whenever I see them, I always think of like camel before I realize, wait a minute, they're like different, right? So it kind of makes sense. Which chose to venture south into the South America server, rather than across the Bering Strait and into Asia. Because of their vastly different environments, they obviously spec into different abilities. However, a lot of their core features are more or less the same. I have a lot to say about these creatures, mostly that they are the most disgusting, nasty creatures I've ever encountered. All right, so this ad read is gonna take a bit of a different turn than usual, but here's the deal. A few months ago, I got a message from the team at Wendover Productions asking if I wanted to be on a game show. Considering this is the same team that makes the show jet lag the game, I immediately said yes. And as a result of this decision, I ended up being on a wild, crazy show that ultimately led to me getting kicked and spat on by alpacas. That's really all you need to know, but let me- Yeah, well, go to uh, go.nebula.tv forces tier zoo and like support this channel, watch the getaway, right? Uh, yeah, <sighs> camels are OP. Uh, as far as we can see, like even tears was like, even if without humans, they would have survived, right? What is OP? That's OP. If OP meant like best of the best, then I guess that is what OP means. But no, like there's a threshold which you can consider OP, like survival is OP, right? Because most things that were alive is not alive right now. So survival itself is OP and they would have survived. So yeah, that's the kind of OP, why not? Well, if you like, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.